Hi, this is Joelle Harding at Fox Hills Performance Center in Plymouth, Michigan. And here I'm going to demonstrate the pump drill. I used to do this drill a lot when I was on tour, especially with the four iron, really to hit that ball as solidly as I possibly could. So on the backswing, you've created an angle here with the shaft of the club and your left forearm. We're trying to maintain as much of that angle into the impact position as we can. And you can see on the downswing, I still have lots of angle here with the shaft and the left forearm. So with the pump drill, what you're going to do is get to the top of the swing. You're going to get the hands to the zipper or to your mid body. You're gonna to try to keep your club shaft as parallel as you can to the ground. You can see here, I'm leading with those hands. I'm really retaining a bunch of angle here between my right forearm and the shaft of the club, okay? So I do that once, I'm just checking to see that I've retained a whole bunch of angle. I'm gonna turn the shoulders back to the top of the swing and you can see that angle is really pretty much staying the same. Can you see that there? As I'm coming into the zipper area right there, hands to mid body, lots of angle still retained. You wanna really feel that. You're gonna feel that in the snuff box area right there below your thumb. And then you're gonna take it back one more time to the top of the swing. And then you're actually going to hit your golf ball. And what that's gonna do for you is just get you that feeling of retaining as much angle as you can to P7 or impact and go on through to your good finish. You may wanna tee up a few of these balls, maybe five balls in a row. I like for my students to tee up balls like this, about a foot apart, five balls in a row, so your body can kind of pick up what we're wanting it to do a little more readily. And that's the pump drill. Thank you.